Ever catch yourself thinking about like what truth really looks like, mm. you know, when everything's going crazy and who gets to decide which moments we remember and which ones just disappear? Mm. That's a good question. Well, today we are diving headfirst into a world that's teetering on the edge. We're talking about a Spanish language film synopsis and get this. It's about a war photographer, but not just any war photographer. This one's caught in the middle of this desperate fight to capture the truth while a super controversial president is about to get, well, removed by force. Wow. Yeah, it's intense. So picture this. We've got Lee, our veteran war photographer. Mm -hmm. You know, the type seen it all, jaded, probably got a whole bunch of emotional baggage they're lugging around. Right, the classic war photographer archetype. Exactly. And then we've got Jesse, fresh out of photo school, thrown straight into this pressure cooker of a situation. Talk about a trial by fire. No kidding. And then there's Joel. He's our seasoned reporter mm -hmm. who's desperately trying to land one final interview before, well, everything hits the fan. I can only imagine the kind of pressure these journalists are under. Oh, absolutely. The synopsis doesn't sugarcoat it. It throws us right into this frantic road trip to Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. and the city's basically on the verge of collapse. Danger is lurking around every corner. This reminds me, you know, of the incredible risks journalists face in these situations, especially when you're talking about conflict zones. It really takes a certain kind of commitment to be a witness, to document history as it unfolds, even when it's dangerous, even when it comes at a personal cost. It's true. It makes you think about the lengths people will go to for the truth, for sure. And the synopsis really drives home that sense of urgency. One minute they're stumbling upon this hidden torture site. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the next, they're caught in a standoff with a sniper. Intense. And then it shifts again. It's yeah. like this eerie calm in a town that somehow managed to stay neutral in the middle of all this chaos. Wow. It's wild how this synopsis can capture all of those different experiences, those different atmospheres in such a short space. Totally agree. Yes. It's like a roller coaster ride through this world that's been flipped upside down. Mm -hmm. It makes you think, though, does that constant exposure to violence, to trauma, does it harden you over time? Or does it make you even more aware of the human cost of it all? That's the question, isn't it? And I think a lot of people who are in those situations, especially those whose job it is to be present and document these things, grapple with that very question. The psychological impact of documenting violence and suffering, it's profound and it stays with you. I bet. And we really see that play out with Jessie, right? I mean, she's brand new to this and the synopsis really captures her internal struggle. The initial shock, the hesitation. But then there's this growing resolve to document the truth, no matter how brutal it gets. It's like that moment when you have to choose between looking away and really seeing what's right in front of you. Yeah. Even if it's hard. Exactly. And then, boom, the story explodes. We're talking a full-blown assault on the White House. Imagine the chaos, the gunfire, the presidents desperately trying to escape. It's a lot. It's those moments, you know, where power shifts so suddenly. It reveals just how fragile these systems of authority can actually be. It makes you think of other times in history when leaders were forced from power, when events unfolded so quickly and violently that it was impossible to predict the outcome. It's true. History is full of surprises. And right in the thick of it, Jesse does something incredible. The synopsis mentions this powerful photograph she takes, one that comes to define the whole event. Now, they don't actually reveal what's in the picture that's the cliffhanger, but they make it clear that Jesse was in the right place at the right time, figure on the shutter, capturing history. It makes you want to know, doesn't it? What did she see? What did she capture in that moment that encapsulated the essence of everything happening around her? It really does. And that's what makes this film so intriguing. And you know what really gets me about this synopsis? It's not just those big explosive moments of conflict that grab you. It's the quieter moments, the ones that remind you there are real people caught in the middle of all this. It's true. Those smaller human moments often reveal a different kind of truth. The kind that sticks with you long after the story's over. Exactly. Like that scene where Lee opens up to Jesse about their past. The synopsis doesn't go into detail, but you can tell Lee's carrying a lot of weight, you know. <laughs> like they've seen things that have fundamentally changed them. It speaks to the hidden toll these experiences take on journalists, especially those who cover conflict. The things that they witness, the stories they carry, it's a heavy burden. Absolutely. It makes you realize everyone's fighting their own battles, even when you can't see the scars. And speaking of hidden depths, there's that scene where they stumble upon a town that seems almost untouched by the chaos. It's wild. 
I was struck by that detail, too. The fact that these people chose neutrality in the face of such turmoil, it raises so many questions about how individuals navigate conflict, the choices they make to survive. It's like this stark contrast, this little bubble of normalcy in the middle of utter mayhem <laughs> makes you think, do you try to stay invisible? Hope the storm passes you by. Or do you confront it head on, even if it means putting yourself in danger? Tough questions, and it seems like this film doesn't shy away from tackling those gray areas. Which is refreshing, to be honest. Totally. And speaking of tough choices, that part where Jesse and the driver get captured, talk about a punch to the gut. Yeah. It really highlights the risks journalists take, the danger they put themselves in to bring us these stories. And the moral dilemma it creates for the other characters, do they intervene, risk their own safety, or do they prioritize the mission, hoping Jesse and the driver will find a way out? It's a lose-lose situation. And the synopsis really makes you feel the weight of that decision. Like, every choice has consequences, and sometimes there are no good options. It underscores how these situations can chip away at your sense of trust, even with the people you're working with. You're forced to make impossible choices, and that changes you. It's a heavy realization, for sure. But even after that experience, Jessie doesn't give up. Even after witnessing these horrific executions, she keeps going, determined to show the world what's really happening. It speaks to the core of photojournalism, wouldn't you say? That belief that bearing witness matters, that capturing these moments, no matter how brutal, is crucial to understanding the world around us. Yeah, and maybe even sparking change. Or at least prompting some deeper thought in those who see those images. Exactly. Because sometimes an image can cut through the noise in a way that words just can't. It forces you to confront uncomfortable truths, to see things you might otherwise look away from. Isn't that what good journalism should do? Hold a mirror up to reality, even when the reflection is painful. Couldn't have said it better myself. It really is. And this film, it doesn't just hold up a mirror. It kind of throws us head first right through the glass. Mm -hmm. We're forced to deal with this conflict straight on no filter. Absolutely raw. It doesn't try to soften the blow when it comes to the consequences of violence, that's for sure. Like that scene where the president is killed. Whoa! Talk about a gut punch. Right. It's brutal, but it's a much needed reminder that in these situations, in war, there aren't winners and losers, really. Just, well, survivors. Yeah, and even those who make it out, they're never the same. The things they've seen, the trauma, the losses, it doesn't just disappear when the fighting stops. It's a heavy thought, for sure. And it makes you wonder about the true cost of conflict, not just the immediate impact, but the ripple effects that touch entire societies, even generations down the line. It makes you question everything, really. Yeah. The motivations, the justifications, the long-term consequences. And in the midst of all that, we have Jessie and that final iconic photograph she captures, the one the synopsis keeps hinting at. Right. It's like, come on, what's in the picture already? But it's smart, right? Ironic. It's like the filmmakers want us to sit with the anticipation to think about what she might have seen through that lens. It's the culmination of her journey, you know? She starts as this observer, almost swallowed by the chaos, and she ends up being the one to capture the defining moment of this whole historical event. It's powerful stuff. Totally. And it makes you wonder, what was it about that specific moment? that fraction of a second that she chose to preserve. What did she see that encapsulated the essence of everything that led to that point? That's the mark of a truly impactful image, I think. The ability to make you think, to question, to keep coming back to it long after you've seen it. And the synopsis, it doesn't give us the answers, does it? It leaves us wondering about whose truth we're really seeing. It's true. Every photo, every story, it's all told through a particular lens, a specific point of view. Exactly. And it's up to us as viewers to remember that, to be aware of those perspectives, to examine our own biases, and to actively seek out multiple viewpoints. Just like those journalists on the ground, we have to piece together the full picture, recognizing that there's always more than one side to every story. It's a powerful reminder, especially now when we're constantly cited with information. It's so easy to get caught up in the headlines, the images, the constant stream of news. And to lose sight of the bigger picture, the nuances, the human stories behind it all. It's why it's more important than ever to be critical thinkers, to question what we see and hear, and to remember that there's always more to uncover. And often it's in those overlooked details, those quieter voices, that we discover the most profound truths. So if you're looking for a story that will stay with you, that will challenge you to think differently about the world, I don't think you can go wrong with this one. It's a poignant exploration of truth, perspective, and the power of photojournalism in a world that's constantly teetering on the edge. It might even inspire you to see the world a little differently yourself. 
And that's what makes a film truly great. Well said. Couldn't agree more. This has been The Deep Dive. We'll be back next time with another deep dive into a story that matters. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep those conversations going.